common task in a flow is to modify the properties of a message as it passes between nodes. For example, the result of an HTTP request may be an object with many properties, of which only some are needed. There are two main nodes for modifying a message, the function node and the change node. The function node allows you to run any JavaScript code against the message. This gives you complete flexibility in what you want to do with the message, but does require familiarity with JavaScript. It's also unnecessary to use for many cases. This video focuses on the other node available, the change node. The change node provides a lot of functionality without needing to write any JavaScript code. Not only can it modify message properties, but it can also be used to access flow and global context spaces. The node works by applying a series of operations to the message one at a time. These operations include setting a message property, doing search and replace operations on a string property, deleting a property, and moving a property. To set a property, you first identify the name of the property you want to set, and then the value you want it to have. This uses the common typed input widget, which offers a wide range of types of data. For example, you could hard code a string or number value into the node, but it can also be used to get that value from flow context. The ability to apply multiple rules in the change node is useful when you want to build up more complex properties. For example, the HTTP request node allows you to provide custom HTTP headers using the message.headers property. This is required to be an object of key value pairs for each header. With the change node, you could set it using the JSON type, where you provide the full object as JSON and the node will parse it for you. The alternative is to use multiple set rules, one to create message.headers as an empty object, and then a rule to set the individual properties of that object. The change node also allows you to use JSONata expressions to set message properties. JSONata is a query and transformation language for JavaScript objects that can be used to map between different structures. It can also be used to perform simple modifications to message properties. For example, given a message that has a temperature reading in Fahrenheit, an expression can be used to set a new property containing the same reading in Celsius. JSONata is a very powerful tool in Node-RED, and beyond the scope of this one video to cover everything that's possible to do. It's important to point out that whilst JSONata looks like JavaScript, it is in fact its own expression language, and there are some key differences. Review the JSONata documentation to see everything you can do with it.